Hello everyone. Waiting for this live in our Facebook group. There we are. We are live. People are calling me. I want to get in on this. Okay. Welcome. Happy Tuesday, depending on when you're watching this. If you're watching this live, if you're watching the recording, it's it's a day. Happy day, right? So often we can get caught up in what day is it? What time is it? You know, am I running late to something? We can get so caught up. I don't know about you, but for me, oftentimes I can get very caught up in the cultural stress, in the cultivation of the chaotic mind. And maybe you have experienced this where you just need a break. You need to get out into nature, move your body, connect with your breath, go on vacation, go on a retreat. Have you ever felt that way before? Now more than ever, especially in the last two to two and a half years, I've been seeing people like yourself deal with challenges, deal with the isolation, deal with feeling a lack of community. And when you deal with this and navigate this on a daily basis without strategies, without community, it can become very detrimental to your health. Now, I know it seems simple and you're probably thinking, how the heck does getting into nature and just being outside actually support my health and well-being? And maybe people in this community or people who subscribe to our channels, if you're watching this, don't necessarily think that. But it's way more powerful than you'd probably think. And I wanted to come on here and share three reasons why nature is fundamental. Not just an accessory, but fundamental to your health and vitality now more than ever. And if anything I share with you in this video resonates with you and you're looking for time away from the mundane, from the chaos of the culture, from your work, from your busy schedule, definitely check out in the comments or in the description of this video, something that we have cultivated over the last couple years, our Inspire Immersion Retreat, where you get to experience just that and so much more. But let's get into the three reasons why nature can be so fundamental to your health and vitality. Number one, nature works with the laws of physics, as do you. And guess what? Although we live in a modernized society where we have technology all around us and we can feel very separate from nature at times, you, my friend, are still a being of nature. And nature works off of the laws of physics. And nature does what nature does. It rains, there's storms, there's wind, there's hot temperatures, there's cold temperatures, and the laws of physics can be a really great teacher to how we do life. For example, you could be walking in the grass and maybe you're caught up in your mind or thinking about your to-do list and you're stressed out and you're not present to the nature around you and all of a sudden, boom, you step on a rock, you step on a twig, you step on a pine cone and you experience pain. And you experience sensation. And that sensation and pain, via the laws of physics, because that's how physics works, things fall from the trees, from gravity. And if you're not paying attention and present, the laws of physics and nature will wake you up to get you to pay attention, to become more present, to become more embodied, and to become more one with your surroundings. Because if you're not aware and conscious of your surroundings, here's the lesson for you and how nature can teach you. If you're not aware and conscious of your surroundings, well then oftentimes we experience a laws of physics from the universe or a wake up call from nature to get us to pay attention and come back to the present moment. This is something that I experienced the other day when I was walking with my husband and I said, I wanna do some earthing, I wanna do grounding. If you've never done earthing or grounding, I highly recommend it. It's a beautiful way if you're around technology, if you're in a very chaotic environment, to take off your shoes and walk on the grass. When's the last time you did that? Maybe when you were a kid? See, we're so separate with our shoes and our fancy 
you know, outfits and things like that. When's the last time you actually stepped foot on the planet Earth and felt the grass and felt the ground and felt the soil supporting you beneath your feet? Now, scientifically, what that does is because the Earth has its own piezoelectric charge. When you step your sensory hands and feet, your skin on the Earth, you actually experience a reset of your energetic field and charge as well. This is something that we facilitate at our Inspire Immersions up at Arc Retreat Center this year in 2022, where we get to be in nature and experience the electric charge and the reset and the planet supporting us. So I was walking outside the other day and I wasn't paying attention I was probably caught up in my to-do list and you've probably been there as well where you've had a busy day and you just can't turn it off, right? And I stepped in a pine cone and it hurt, right? I wasn't paying attention and nature woke me up and said, hey, you're walking here. How often are we actually not aware of what we're doing? Walking and breathing. Nature will get us to come into the present. So I step in this pine cone and it hurt. And from that moment, I had this mantra come in and I felt like it was from nature and it said if I choose to not hurt mother earth mother earth won't hurt me if I don't hurt the planet the planet won't hurt me if I don't hurt earth earth won't hurt me and so for the rest of the walk I repeated that mantra and I was very present with every single step and I made it home successfully without stepping on another pine cone so the metaphor here is the laws of physics of nature will show you how you are doing life and get you to wake up and pay attention. The second lesson from nature is nature teaches us and teaches you how to cultivate resilience. Here in Minnesota, things can shift on a dime. It can be warm and sunny and all of a sudden, massive rainstorm, tornado sirens. For those of you who maybe live in the Midwest, you understand this phenomena. And with these really large electric phenomena and energetic shifts, what that creates is resilience, if you are able to adapt. When the weather patterns shift, when all of a sudden you need to take a detour, when maybe an animal comes out and you're surprised, you have to shift your plans. And being in nature, in those experiences, when maybe it feels turbulent, it can feel chaotic, it can feel as though there's instability in the air. This teaches us how to become more resilient. Because again, in nature, back to lesson one, nature does what nature does, and we can't necessarily control it. In fact, I don't think really any of us could control it. And so when you are able to be in these shifts in nature and be in the different seasons of life, the spring, the summer, the fall, the winter, and adapt, you become more resilient. And when you can adapt to the changing seasons in your environment and nature, you also get to cultivate that resilience in your everyday life, in your job, in your business, in your relationships. See, nature is one of the greatest teachers. If things flip on a dime at your work, how do you respond? How are you in the winter of your life compared to the summer of your life? Are you welcoming of the cold winter nights that allow you to go deep within and actually experience a deep rest and rejuvenation? And do you take advantage of the summery, fiery energy? See, nature is one of the greatest teachers in cultivating resilience and adaptability. And that leads me to my third point that nature can teach us when it comes to the fundamentals of health and vitality is that in nature it's important to understand that a change in environment from our everyday and going into nature can actually shift our energetic state which ultimately helps shift our physical well-being and our mental emotional well-being again we live in a culture i should you know i speak for myself and some of you who i know personally we live in a culture that, again, can feel very isolated. We live in these houses. We don't necessarily live in community. We're living in things that maybe are away from the trees, from the grass, from the mountains. 
And sometimes we get very stuck. And maybe you've experienced this where you get stuck in a pattern, you get stuck in a thought process, you get stuck in a habit, and you get stuck in an emotional loop that you feel your environment is really contributing to. Because remember, as living beings and beings of nature, we are always in relationship with our environment. And so if your environment, for example, in your house is chaotic, is turbulent, if the environment in your workplace is chaotic, turbulent, if the environment in your relationship is chaotic and turbulent, how do you think your nervous system and your body and your emotional health is going to be? There's always a feedback loop and a feedback mechanism occurring because we're always one with our environment, even if we aren't perceiving it that way, because we have to adapt to our environment in order to survive. It's a neurological phenomenon. So one of the things that Michael, myself, and the Inspire Co team has created is a way for you to shift your state via nature. Now, this isn't meant to be escapism. This isn't meant to be a retreat where you're creating butterflies and rainbows and it's out of touch with reality in your everyday life. And we get that sometimes you can get so stuck in patterns, especially after the last two years. Maybe you're feeling exhausted. Maybe you're feeling fatigue and you're ready for that reset. You're ready for that reset in your life. Or you're ready for that rejuvenation and you're ready to reconnect with your authentic, true, inspired self. Nature can be a great way to do that. When you shift your external environment, your internal environment also gets to shift with you. So what I recommend is getting into nature at least, at least once a week, if not once or twice a month. And I don't just mean going on a walk in your neighborhood where there's a bunch of buildings and a bunch of houses. I mean immerse yourself in the trees, in the forest, near the river, near water, where there's less distraction and less of the chaotic mind and less of the cultural stress and go back to your roots. That's why we have partnered with Arc Retreat Center for our immersions, at least in 2022, if you're watching this, because we have really found that connecting in an environment and a space and a community that also honors the earth and honors the planet is a very powerful atmosphere for very deep quantum healing for individuals as well as communities and as we as individuals and you as an individual start to come back to your roots and your authentic nature you show up differently even if yes you immerse yourself for just four days out of the year or a couple days a month it rewires your nervous system it resets your body mind you become more balanced you become more in harmony and you become more at ease and when you take that energy back into your everyday life, it's important to make sure that you're still continuously finding these strategies. Being with the trees, going outside, grounding, all these things we talk about and teach within Inspire Co. and at our Inspire Immersions. So I digress. The three things that nature can teach us and the three lessons, one, the laws of physics never lie, two, Cultivating resilience, nature can really be an amazing teacher for you. And number three, shifting your environment and going out into nature and immersing yourself can be a really powerful catalyst to shifting your inner state, to shifting your inner environment. And as a result, seeing and experiencing a shift in your physical well-being, your mental, emotional well-being, and ultimately your spiritual well-being. So I wanted to come in here and share those strategies with the intention that you start to look at nature as a very powerful medicine. And I don't mean the medicine in your medicine cabinet, but really inviting you, how can you tap into this on a more consistent basis? And if you feel you are desiring more support, you don't know where to start, that's why we've created the Inspire Immersions. Whether you're a current practice member, you're someone who's landed on our YouTube page, you're in our Inspire Life community, you've watched some of our courses. If you're looking for that reset, especially if you're watching this in 2022, our next one is in November of 2022, right before the holidays, which we know that can get chaotic, right? And so if you're looking to have that reset and to go into the holiday season with more balance, with more ease, with more perspective and a more calm and embodied inner state, then I invite you to join us to our November fall inspire immersion this 2022. I'll drop the link in the comments to check it out. You can see all the things that are included. And I want you to know this. As I wrap up, you and your presence being there matters. 
This is not just a seminar of me teaching. This is an opportunity for you to contribute your gifts, for you to contribute your wisdom, and for you to immerse yourself in what we're calling a masterpiece of consciousness, of collective healing, and ultimately individual and planetary well-being and wholeness. So if you have any questions, post in the comments below, check out the link, you can sign up on that page, and I look forward to having you with us at the Fall 22 Inspire Immersion. Have a great day.